everybody, this is Jordan Machado, aspiring biologist and hopefully a future herpetologist. And today I have Waffles here with me, who is just kind of being in the way, saying hello. Um, but other than Waffles, we're actually going to be showing off some lavender hog noses that are really awesome. And we'll talk a little bit about what the lavender morph is, especially since right now it seems to be extremely popular. So let's get into it. So this is Blueberry Slushy. She is a lavender morph hognose snake. And so far, a lot of people seem to believe that the lavender morph, what it does is that it causes a reduction in melanin. Melanin is what creates dark colors in snakes. However, there are a few people that actually think that instead of just a normal melanin reduction, what lavender might actually be doing is causing a dilution in color. So with that being said, that is why it is so popular in combo morphs because it'll take another morph, for example, the most popular one being albino, and it will dilute it just enough to wash off out a little bit of the color and then just enhance what is left over. Uh, one of the most popular ones is actually the coral, which is the albino and lavender combo. Uh, we don't have that at the moment, but we'll actually have a video talking about the coral morph soon. We've got some, uh, hopefully some eggies that will be hatching into some coral babies, and we also have a few other really cool lavender morphs. Now, if you take a look at her specifically, you might be able to see that she's got this kind of soft gray dulled out color. Um, but the thing that changes that from the exanthic is that it's not just a normal gray. It has this soft pinkish purple hue and in particular you'll notice it right behind the saddles. There's just this soft little reddish purple tint in between each and every saddle, especially along the dorsal spine. And that just means along her back. But this is probably because whatever normal color she had likely had a little more red than brown found in its colors. And that brings me to another important thing to talk about lavenders is when you're not looking at combos, you will see a little bit of variation. For here we've got Khaleesi. She is also a lavender morph. However, her purple colors are definitely not nearly as strong. Instead, you can really see why some people believe that the lavender is a dilution morph. So if you look at it, you could just see her background colors went from the usual wild type. She, sorry, I got distracted by her digging into my hand. <laughs> you can see that they took the usual wild type and created a soft, creamy background. Now, she has a slight purple tint and her head is a little bit gray, which is more typical in the lavenders. However, she's got more of a strong brown tint to her instead of the usual purple. It does still create an absolutely unique looking snake and brown lavenders are still just as lovely, just not as popular as the normal purple lavenders. But to really show the difference, because lavender morph is very difficult to catch on camera, we will compare it to a normal. Okay, so here I have a normal morph and Khaleesi, the brownish lavender, just to really show that the lavender does make a difference even if it is on the brown side. Now you see how they could essentially be the same snake if you were to go by color, except one got a little too much bleach thrown in the dryer. <laughs> so the colors are diluted. It's a lot softer. It's a lot more, well, lighter. Now, I'll go ahead and grab Blueberry to show you the ultimate difference, and then we'll have a normal, a brownish lavender, and then the more popular purple lavender. Uh, so just before we wrap up, I wanted to showcase the lavender belly compared to a normal belly. Now, mind you, I believe I Can Fly has a lot of black scales compared to most normals, but what I'm trying to show off really is just that you can see it honestly just looks like the lavender this beautiful little soft purple color just washed out most of the black in exchange for that purple color but the white is still really nice and white instead of yellow you don't actually see any yellow in lavenders which is quite fascinating <laughs> 
Okay, so now we've got blueberry slushy here in the mix, and it's a little hard <laughs> to kind of hold all of them in a decent way, but I think I got it. Now you can see that there is a stronger concentration of pigment over here on blueberry compared to Khaleesi. So what I think might have happened is just that blueberry's lavender, well not version because they're both the same morph, I think that her original wild type coloring was just more on the red side than the brown side which is why you have the purple showing up a little more in comparison to the browner one. But as you can see when you compare these guys to the normal it is very very different. And the main reason it's so hard to catch these colors in, well, footage and cameras and videos is simply because it's a very subtle thing that the camera is not able to catch onto. However, when you actually look at it in person, the colors that the lavenders actually showcase is astounding. Where do you think you're going? Okay, get back here, you little one. Um, so yeah, that's kind of pretty much it for the lavender morph and these are our little helpers blueberry's going off to her new home um the normal is i believe i can fly he's honestly an amazing eater he flies out of his tub and then we've got little khaleesi who's still looking for her new home isn't that right sweetness yes you are oh she's mellowed out a lot um, but yeah, feel free to ask any questions in the comments below if you guys have any and honestly I would appreciate any new subscribers. Every single one of you really does help. And keep it up!